Now let's work on our walking animation. I'm going to select my, my walk sprite here and we'll repeat this same process. Sprite mode to multiple. Override for standalone, we'll keep this at 2048 and hit apply. Open the sprite editor, set the grid by cell size to 256 by 256 and hit slice and then apply. As you can see, the same thing has happened to our walk animation. I'm going to select the character, come over here where it says idle and this little drop down and create a new clip. We'll call this one walk and we'll make sure to save that in our animations folder. As you can see, we have another state created. Again, I'm going to select my first frame and then my last frame of my walk animation and drag that to the timeline. We'll set this to 24 frames per second right now and we'll see how that goes. Let's create a parameter variable now. With character selected in the animator I'm going to hit this plus symbol and create a float value or float variable sorry and we will call this speed. Take note of using capital or lowercase letters. If you're going to use the scripts that I'm providing then follow along exactly however I name everything using capital and lowercase letters. Now I'm going to select my idle icon right click and choose make transition. I'm going to click on walk and make this transition between the two. If I select the transition in the inspector I have some parameters I can change. I'm going to uncheck has exit time. Scrolling down we can see here that I have an area to add conditionals. I'm going to press the plus sign and set speed greater than 0.1. I'm going to come to the walk animation, right click, make transition, connect to idle, select that transition, uncheck has exit time, scroll down, select the conditional, set this one to speed less than 0.1. If the character is not moving, it'll stay idle. If it begins to move, meaning if the speed variable is greater than 0.1, then the walk animation will play. And if the walk and or if the character stops, meaning that it's moving less than 0.1, it goes back to the idle animation. Now let's get our scripts. I'm going to in the assets folder right click create a folder and we'll call this folder scripts. I have a script right here and I'll provide the script that you can download. I'm going to use a different class name so all I care about is grabbing all the code for now. And again you'll be able to download this script either from our website or if you're watching this on YouTube you can download this along with other assets below the video. Now back in my assets or my scripts folder I'm going to right click create C sharp script. We'll call this character controls. Oops. Controls. I'm going to double click on that script and I'm going to paste in my code. In your case you won't need to worry about this because I will actually provide the script for you. I'm going to hit save. Let's press play. Okay, so our animation is in its idle state and if we move our arrows nothing happens. We need to attach the code that we just added to this character. Select character. 
grab the C sharp script and drop it on the character. Now let's press play. I don't like how his feet are in front of the grass. To change that, I can select scene. I'm going to change this to 3D. Notice how we can how the uh, character is actually in front of the grass. I'm going to move the character so that it's behind the grass. I think I can go ahead and just set this to 1 in the transform Z position. And there we go. The character is now behind the grass, which is what I wanted.